Taylor Swift, I understand. But now you're acting like every fucking private jet user is Taylor Swift. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. He's a girly pop, your honor, and a Swifty. This is true. I am a Swifty. Austin, on the other hand, said some unhinged stuff about Taylor Swift on the last episode of the podcast. No, no. My, my only hot take about the Taylor Swift haters is the private jet shit. Like, people... Like, you even have this take, and you can't, because of your audience, you can't agree with me, but you know how crazy it would be if, if Taylor Swift is out here flying Delta. Like, how, why, like, could you imagine Taylor just fucking out here flying Delta, what that would do to the system? I think we should normalize that 100%. What, 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 what do you, what, what's your proposition to, how do we, how do we normalize it? Taylor DMCA'd the tweet about her flight logs. Yeah. Like, how do you guys, I don't understand. Like, have you got, do you know what that would do to the, like the airport? Like, what is she supposed to do? I'm not saying fly spirit, but I do think I that know, she I'm not should... saying she needs to fly. I'm not saying it's not the luxury of private. It's more so the, it's just like the pandemonium. <laughs> Brotonic says, I think you fly more than Taylor Austin. He literally, no, I, when, the, when, <laughs> when the meme was popping off about Taylor Swift's like flights, the year that she just recently DMCA'd by the way. Mm hmm. Austin said, I think I flew as much as her or more this year. Yeah, I did. But I was flying public transportation. Oh, so now it's. A, oh, yeah. But I'm not. Why, like, is, that, why is that different? I'm not. I'm not. Because if I go to an airport, I don't get mobbed. It'd be a security risk. When I go to airports, I get mobbed. No, you don't. I've no. been to an airport with you. I got mom. Most people, there's a few people that know who you are, but most of them come up to me first because I'm more personable and approachable. But and oh, which, we just, we're just making stuff up now. Huh? No, I'm I'm definitely more personable and approachable. No, you're not. That's hundred percent. No. You're more you're intimidating. You're six foot four. No, everybody's always saying how personable and approachable no, 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 I am. No, no. You, you're you, you people meet you, and it's uncomfortable because you're so big and frightening. But when they meet me. You have criticized me for talking to people for too much because I talk too much to, to complain. I'm too, he's criticized me for being too sweet and too nice and too friendly. <laughs> this is why I bully you. No, this, this is me defending myself. But, um, no, of course I, I'm, I'm joking. Like there's no comparison between me and Taylor Swift. Mm. Um, however, does she need to fly as much as she does? No. No, she probably does. She probably does need to fly a lot. The difference is like there are literally like she could be using a fucking private car to get to the flight. Like there are you've done it before. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Like so those what sorts you, of shit. Yeah, those are valid yeah, criticisms. What the fuck do you mean? But what I'm saying is like people saying that she should like get on United or Delta or, you know, some commercial flight. I just think the, the logistics of that would be insane. People would go crazy. Check my logs for the entire 2023 itinerary TikTok. Like, why are we criticizing Joe Biden for his private jet usage? You know, why are we giving a why are we giving a free pass to the president of the United States? I think in a just world that wouldn't exist either. For right? the record, think no, about I, it. I think that that's like, do you also. Think, do you think Biden should fly Delta? Or why are you comparing? The president of the United because States of America. she's arguably just as famous. Bro, it's not just about fame, dog. She's That's a valid as assassination famous. target. What the fuck are you wait, talking about? Wait, so Taylor couldn't get assassinated? No. Yeah. She could. You're trolling, right? I mean, you know, I don't know. I'm just making like, shit there's up. A, d d <laughs> like, what? I mean, somebody might want to Brother, her. presidents get permanent security, secret security, after they are done being presidents. Because I mean, they are, she does need a little bit of security. Their families need I mean, permanent security yeah. for the rest of their lives Look, because they I'm are not saying they are like, oh. okay, they you are know what? Fuck it. Fuck it. Fuck it. Taylor, next flight you take, go to LAX, walk through security. No, we go I'm not get on a plane. That. I'm not saying and that. See what at all. happens. You know what? You know what? You guys are right, chat. It, it's uh, going to be perfectly smooth and normal. Nobody's going to report on it. The that, news agencies, nobody's going to say anything. Nobody's even going to look. They're straw manning. Nobody's going to look at her. What's a straw man? What, 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 what's this? What, because what's a that's not man? an argument that I'm making. Okay, I'm not saying what's she the, goes through normal security. Okay, what's the argument? What's the argument? Because that's you, what people are arguing. You. Yeah. Okay, you. Mm -hmm. As a fucking E-level celebrity. Okay. 
<laughs> have you. T- taken it, myself included. I'm I'm like not a famous person. An E level. <laughs> but you yeah. have literally personally <laughs> taken advantage of a Delta service that is available for those who fly enough times with Delta. Yeah. Where a private car takes you directly to the fucking plane. Yeah. If that's available to you, don't you think that it's available to Taylor Swift at sure. every airport? Sure, yes. Yes, no one is saying she has to go through security and, like, fucking destroy, like, commercial travel for the day. I'm simply stating that, like, she could avoid all of that and still you don't, fly. You, but what if she gets, when, when, she, when she gets on the plane, you think she should get on the plane, sit in row one? Yeah. And just sit there. She has security. Ain't but, nobody's fucking touching her. Book out the entire First class cabin. Most of the time, first of all, that would literally still be demonstrably cheaper than oh, yeah, a fucking private jet. No, I, know. I know. And secondly, that's not even what I'm saying. Okay. All right. You know what? You know what? You're right. You know what? I heard about a famous celebrity flying. Her name was Mariah Carey, and she booked out the entire business class cabin on a Virgin Atlantic flight to England. And the reason is, is she had so many bags and she refused to check them. And so she refused to check any of her luggage. So she brought them all through security and put them all in the over. She took up all of the overhead bins on a Virgin Atlantic flight. I still, uh, yeah. Even if she were to book out the entirety of the first class cabin, that would still be preferable to flying private. In my I st- opinion, I still think. I think the. I still think the logistics of Taylor Swift flying commercially, regardless of the things that are at her disposal, like private car to the plane, are still too much. Like especially, and, especially these, especially all, these are like really gross in my opinion. She has stalkers. I mean, unless they could find a special privilege for her uh, to get out of the airport. Bro, twenty twenty four. Who doesn't have fucking stalkers? Okay, normal women that. Don't even have a, they barely have an online president of fucking stalkers. Come on. She has security. You guys are crazy. Hassan, you are on, wrong on this one. No, I'm not. You guys deify celebrities. You literally deify celebrities and you think they are above like a normal level of, of scrutiny. I mean, if I was. Oh, a, no, you're right. We should justify our insane consumption. Thank you. I mean, look, if I was a billionaire, I'd have a Dreamliner. Yeah, I think it's fucked up. I, I don't I don't think it's a good thing. I'd have a Dreamliner. I'd, it'd be a, it'd be a Dreamliner. It wouldn't even be that small of a jet. I'd have a bigger one. I wouldn't be flying as much though, and I would take a lot of people with me. <laughs> you said it like you're killing them. <laughs> I'd take out all these people with me. Turns out Kaya was the real bear when he. He wanted the vibe with all along. Aw. That is Kaya. If Taylor Swift was in an airport, then people would mob the destination airport. Dude, you guys are wrong. Of course they would do that. It doesn't matter. Do you think airports don't have specific protocols for high profile clientele? What are you talking about? Heart to heart with peach jars. What do you want to do? Okay. Y'all are crazy. Do no, I think she- they're competent? No. Have you seen LAX, Hassan? They can't handle peak times on a weekend. I, I don't know why people are refusing <laughs> to hear what I have said. No, they're not competent. Oh, my God. Bro, I don't know why. I just, I don't even give a shit. Whatever, dude. Taylor Swift can consume as much jet fuel as she wants, okay? I'm no, sorry. No, you know what? This is where we'll find a middle ground. I think she should take a bus, an electric bus. You know what? No, Fuck I'm it. not I saying think she that needs, at all. I think she needs private high-speed rail. That's what I think she should have. Private high speed rail. That is the that is that she needs to build. I think there's the infrastructure of the United States there's, and take there's private high speed rail. That, there's two things that I think are just like so insane that they exist, and they're so devastating to the planet. It's cruise ships 
and fucking private jets. Like, they objectively should not exist. It's not, I mean, it's marginal in the grand scheme of things. Now, if she had a private cruise ship, that'd be a lot. It's right? marginal in the grand scheme of things. You're ridiculous. Like, if she bought the icon of the seas. But I do person. I could stand with you and say, that's a little much, Taylor. I mean, you could, you could have taken a small boat, you know? Oh, a yacht. I'm being, I, I am being serious about this. It just like blows my fucking mind. Um, Swifties <coughs> will build high speed rail with the bare hands if she made an album. <laughs> True. Individual consumption is not worth hating. Systems and industry are worthy targets. Yeah, except like private jet individual consumption is still something that is so, such a gimme, such an easy one to eliminate. It's like a thousand people that consistently utilize it, maybe more than a thousand, let's say a hundred thousand people that consistently utilize it. I think we should put this to the test and I think we should put Taylor on a commercial flight. But they a, but they happen to be the richest, most powerful people on the planet, so it doesn't even I fucking see what matter. Happens. I really want to see what happens. I think she should fly commercial and see what happens. Because we don't know until it happens. She needs to fly commercial. Are we all in agreement? Let's let her fly commercial and see what happens. Can you explain your POV, please? I have. I think that I'll agree there to are that. there I are see certain what there are certain things that pollute extra hard when there is a reasonable there is a reasonable alternative out there. Like when someone when I fly to Australia to shoot and someone says, "Oh wow, don't you think that that's a gross pollution? Like, don't you think that that was not necessary?" And it's like. Yeah, dude, I can't fucking swim to Australia, okay? I'm flying in a commercial airliner. But having said that, someone like Taylor Swift could very easily, and many others, she's not even the top 10 of PJ users. Well, I don't think any person should be doing that. And I say that I've been inside of a private jet twice, as a matter of fact. I've never flown on a private jet. As you guys jet. know. I've turned down uh, private jet flights. I have seriously. You have oh, because yeah. you're afraid. You're afraid. No, no. Amaranth offered to fly me private uh, out to her event in in Tampa, and I said no. I'm going to fly Delta, and I actually never made it because I got COVID and got the money for the airfare and applied it to another travel trip. But <laughs> but I turned down a private jet flight. <laughs> what? You're putting the car before the horse. If the private flight <laughs> constituency was forced onto public transit, they get strangled mid-flight. What are you saying? You think some fucking Goldman Sachs CEO would get strangled mid-flight? You think a Goldman Sachs You think a Goldman Sachs executive has more fucking visible public enemies than someone like myself? Are you fucking insane? Taylor Swift, I understand, but now you're acting like every fucking private jet user is Taylor Swift. That is the most insane thing I've ever heard. The fuck are you smoking on, dude? You know how many fucking death threats I get every goddamn day? You're out of your fucking mind. The irony is private jet flight is trackable. You know what's not as easily trackable? Commercial flights, because... There are a shit ton of commercial flights lined up every fucking day. Yeah, it's so you pretty can easy much, to figure it out. It is easy to figure out, but I'm saying it's much, much, much easier to hide your travel with commercial air travel than yeah. it is for fucking private that, jet true. travel because private jets are obviously carrying one fucking person. Unless you don't own the private jet and you just take a different private jet every time, I suppose. That, now you're doubling up on the fucking <laughs> fuel consumption, though. <laughs> anyway. Doing a 30-minute private jet flight is absolutely indefensible. Anyway, I can't believe we're having this combo. Yeah, of course. Well, I, mean, I agree. 30-minute oh, private jet flight. I've taken a 30-minute commercial flight. What about private jet for your double for security? What the fuck? <laughs> Logistically, not littering is kind of hard for me because I'm always on a rush to on my way to work. So shouldn't I be able to dump my trash on the side of the road? So yes. Are you saying, are people critical of her for her long flights or all of her flights or just the short hops? 
I think people are critical of her uh, overall insane, insane consumption. All of them? Okay. Also, yes, this chatter is correct. The vast majority of celebrities fly commercial, obviously, duh, mm -hmm. because projects are incredibly expensive. Yeah. <laughs> Look, fuck the climate. My fave celebrity can do whatever they want. Yeah, I personally think we need to build private roads for these celebrities. If they drive on main roads, they'd be mobbed. Yeah. <sighs> it's significantly different when you look at Taylor Swift having a private plane and the president. I think it may be important for the White House to have one, but a woman who's just... Okay, dude, you're just a hater. Come on. Of course I'm making enemies... Of course, I'm making it. I'm, I'm, I'm trying to explain why a private jet should be used by a, a, a famous person to a fucking bunch of leftists. My, of my, course, I'm my, making enemies. My private jet thing Are isn't even. Are you kidding even, me? Of make course. no mistake. Make no mistake. <laughs> I'm not even fucking talking about Taylor Swift alone when I'm talking about private jets. I think across the board, it's such an easy thing to just discontinue. I don't like private jets, I don't like flying on them. I like commercial jets. That's why I say the only way I would have a private jet is if I was a billionaire and that private jet was a commercial jet. That's insane. <laughs> That's the only You're way. insane. Because I don't like private jets. They're too small. They're cramped. They're bad for the environment. <laughs> anyway. I would, never, I would never have a small private jet. I wouldn't. The turbulence is too intense. You don't like the private jets. But first jets and foremost, it's terrible for the environment. Yeah, I I think it's it's ridiculous. Anyway, let's watch on. this. Um, I think gay people are okay. Mm, absolutely not. <laughs> Austin wants Air Drake. Yeah, I mean that's a pretty nice plane. But, uh, you know, it's also logistically so insane to fly that a 767 around the world. Oh, <coughs> uh, yeah, yeah. I'm still, I'm, I'm like, <laughs> my brain is broken from this conversation. I can't believe how many people in this community of all communities that's supposed to be like environmentally conscious has decided that because it's Taylor Swift, it's okay for, like, private jet usage. It's wild to me. I'm sorry. I'm so disappointed in this chat. I'm not even disappointed. I'm just shocked. Me too. No, you're not. Hold no, on, you're no. not. You 